So Mass, uh, you know, we were talking before about the interview week, and one other thing I remember about that that I wanted to tell you was, uh, you know, uh, the, the, it's a pretty stressful week, and really most of it, as you probably recall, uh, was medical examinations. You had the 45-minute interview, which is the crux, but the rest of the time, you're getting ultrasounds, yep. you're getting, you know, x-rays, and they poke and prod. They, they, you learn a lot more about your body than you ever wanted to know, and that's really what most of the week is all about. And I remember this one point that there was this there's this one guy that was in my interview class. His name was Patrick Sherman, and he would go <laughs> on to become the center director at, at Stennis. He's a great guy, really funny yeah. guy. If he would have if he would if they picked him instead of me, you could be doing this podcast with him because he'd be a funny astronaut. And, uh, and we stayed really good friends. But anyway, he and I just hit it off and we're just goofing around like this, like you and me uh, throughout the whole interview week. And at one point, they sent the two of us in to get our ultrasounds at a local hospital because NASA didn't actually have an ultrasound machine at the Johnson Space Center. So they just sent you to like the, the local hospital. And, and so we're sitting there. And of course, who goes to get ultrasounds? It's pregnant ladies, right? So it's Patrick and myself and an entire room full of pregnant ladies. We're like big, giant bellies getting ready to go in and get their ultrasounds. And so I go in first. And uh, Patrick's is left all alone in this room full of pregnant women, like at least a dozen of them. And I come out after my exam is done and he looks up at me and I see him sitting there with all these pregnant ladies. And I walk out and I said, all I said was, Patrick, twins. <laughs> what, did, what, did, what did the ladies think? They, they just laughed. They, 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 half of them were laughing. The other half were, were looking at me like, what an idiot. <laughs> you yeah. know, but I took, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take half. That's right. It was fun. Yeah, those exams, as you say, it was, it was, it's an astronaut interview, but it was all these, it was mainly medical <laughs> exams. And as you say, they went everywhere. They looked everywhere. They were from head to toe, mm -hmm. including inside certain places. And uh, the, uh, the procto uh, was always the <laughs> highlight of the week, which is not like a full colonoscopy, folks. Not for those of you who are medically inclined here. It's not, you know, a colonoscopy is they're, they're looking up your, your rear end and looking for, you know, things that don't belong there. And uh, with us, it was, it wasn't, they didn't go that far. And they, this thing, as you said, you did the, they did the, the, um, ultrasound at a hospital, but this, I remember they did at the space center. Mm -hmm. And so they just wanted to take a brief look. They weren't looking too far. Just, you know, let's let's go a little of the ways up. And uh, this was like the thing. It was kind of, I thought it was like a rite of passage. You know, they did it to all the astronauts on the, in Apollo. This was just something they did to everybody. Mm -hmm. they, again, they want to make sure you're healthy. So they wanted to look inside of there. And I hadn't had anything like this done before. And because they did it locally, it was they didn't have to they didn't, no anesthesia or anything. It was just this, you know, this little <laughs> procedure they were going to do, right? So I'm like, okay, what the heck? So uh, I remember, and I remember the doctor. The doctor's name was something like Doctor Hind. Do you remember this? Doctor like Hind. Hind or Hind like that. Doctor Hind. His, the and nurse. It was. It was. Um, it was nurse. You, you, you remember the nurse's name? It was like Nurse Butt or something like that. It was. I think it was made up <laughs> no. names. Was nurse, what was her name? Is Nurse Mona. Mona, Mona. Okay, Mona. Okay, right. her first, yeah, so it's Dr. Hines and, and, and Nurse Mona. <laughs> and I think that was really yeah. their names. I thought I was like, you got to be kidding me. Because there was a lot of yeah. kind of silly jokes, you know, about this thing. You know, they're going to, they're going to, you know, see what they, so anyway, so yeah, I remember that. And this guy, this guy was about a hundred years old, I think, you know, I think yeah. this is, he just, they called him out of retirement for this. So, <laughs> and I remember he's doing the thing and I'm like, you know, just kind of whatever, sitting, you know, laying there and, uh, and uh, he's looking, I know he's looking at something. So I'm like, what are you looking at? And uh, he said, I'm looking at the screen. Do you want to watch? I'm like, sure, why not? You know, get the full effect of this experience. And he turns the thing toward me, you know, the little, and I'm looking at this. I'm like, I'm watching television, but it's an exploration of, uh, you know, my inside, right? And I'm looking at this yeah. thing and I'm kind of like, you know, like what the heck is going? And he's like, uh, what, are you, what, are you, what are you trying to look? You know, he's like, what are you, what are you, you know, are you interested? And I'm like, I'm just looking for my lost car keys. You know, this, this guy, and I go, yeah, and I ask him, you ever find anything? You know, what do you, what do you, you know, what do you expect? Because I figured, you know, who knows where all that stuff goes? Maybe he might come across it. But I remember him looking at that thing. But that was the, that was, I remember the big event, like, oh, you're going to have that, that happen. That, and, and for me, it was the eye exam because that was, that was, that was what I was most nervous about because I had this, I had, was rejected by NASA. I sent in my application, was rejected twice. 
And then I got the interview, and I ended up uh, failing the eye exam. I went in for the eye exam, and uh, and I failed. I, I I didn't pass, and I and I, I just couldn't see well enough. And um, I felt terrible about this because I was DQ'd, and they said that's it. You know, you can't even try anymore. And I remember going into work that that I got that news on a Friday, and I went into work. I was working out at Houston for McDonnell Douglas. And my boss was a former astronaut, a guy named Bob Overmeyer. And uh, I see him in the hallway, and uh, he says, you know, how did, it, how did it go? And I go, I got, I got medically DQ'd. I don't know what I'm going to do. And he said, was it, was it the eye exam? And I go, yeah, how'd you, how'd you guess? And he goes, that's what gets everybody. And he goes, you know what you got to do, Mike? He goes, I had to fight that. I, I hated that eye exam. I go, I hate it too. He goes, I hated it. Because that was the one thing would always get the most guys is the, you, not reading the eye chart. And for those of you listening at home, don't worry about this now. They've, they've changed the standards. The acuity issue is not no longer a problem like it was. But back then, you had to see pretty well unaided. And I go, I, I don't know what to do. He goes, well, you know what you need to do. Don't, I go, I don't know. What am I going to do? He says, he goes, you go take your eye exam again. He goes, make sure you're dehydrated. I go, really? He goes, well, I would always take my eye exam on a, on a Monday. And I would start on Friday. I wouldn't drink any water. He goes, I would run. I would sweat. I would sweat everything out. I wouldn't drink anything, and I would get dehydrated, and that helps in the eye. I go, how is that? He, uh, he said, well, what it is is you're, you're, he had this whole thing. He, you know, he's telling me he's, like, drawing something on a chalkboard. Or, oh, yeah, it, 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 makes it, it makes it more rigid, and the light bends this way, and it really helps. you got to get rid of all the water in your body. Dehydrate yourself. I go, oh, okay. I, you know, maybe I can try it. Maybe I can, I can see what I can do. Later that afternoon, that was in the morning, the afternoon, I'm walking around the Johnson Space Center, and I see Kevin Kriegel, who's an Air Force pilot, and a, a, I was friends with him. I knew him through, uh, through church and the neighborhood and so on, and he sees, he goes, how did it go? And I go, I got, I got medically DQ'd. He goes, the eyesight? He knew right away, just like all these pilots knew. That. It was the eyesight, and I go, yeah. He goes, you failed the eyesight? And I go, I did. He goes, you know what you got to do, don't you? And I go, what? He goes, he goes you got to drink a lot of water. You, you got to hydrate. <laughs> like, what? He, I go, why? And he goes, well, it makes your eyesight, it makes your eye more viscous and there's more water, so the light bends better. And I go, you got to be kidding me, because just, I, you know, to say, and I swear, you can't make this up. A couple hours earlier, I had one fighter pilot tell me, get, get all the water out of your system. And this guy's like, hydrate, hydrate your eyeballs. Even pour the water right on the eye. Get as much water as you can inside of your. So, like, this is all, this is all hocus pocus. You know, I've got to, you know, no one knows how to pass this eye exam. And I started talking to some optometrists and they, they didn't, back then they didn't accept LASIK or any of that stuff. So I just had to figure out a way to see better. So I, I started doing something called vision training. <laughs> and it was to try to trick your brain and your eyes into seeing better. And so I did this and I was able to, to, to requalify. It was, I had, it was like, you had to relax your eyes so you could, you could focus differently, but in relaxing your eyes, you were actually kind of, it looked like I was giving someone an evil eye. It was like my eye was kind of, a, but it was, that's the way I was able to see a little bit better for this. This is the way this thing worked. And this lady that I worked with, who was, a, it was a, this, this, this very nice optometrist doctor. When I went to see her, she said, I've never worked with anyone who was younger than the age of 10 because she could help kids because they could retrain their eyes and their brain because they're still developing. And I said, well, I tell you what, I can be very immature. No doubt about it. I can go <laughs> in there and I could be the most immature patient you ever had. You won't even know. That. So she agreed to work with me. And I, you know, doing this, what I called the, the evil eye, but it was just relaxing my eyes to see a little bit better. I was able to pick up a couple lines on the, and I was able to requalify to uh to apply can you, again can not we, that they were going to take me you, but at least i could apply again can you, so can anyway still, the big uh, event comes now wait, wait. during what's that can you still do it the evil no eye? i got it was like it was like i can try to look like this like this it was like <laughs> it was like staring like this guy <laughs> it was terrifying. actually relaxing it's your terrifying. eyes to see a little bit better yeah. but i needed to kind of get into this trance almost so i could say <laughs> it would you would like literally we were trying to focus beyond the letter and all this other stuff so the way they did that test if you remember at nasa was like a video game almost you had to like mm -hmm. say you up, up, down, left, right, or something, and it would flash this. It was called the land out C. They they'd flash a C, and it was different sizes, and and you had to say where was the opening. You had to pick out where the opening. That's how they did this thing. <laughs> so I'm in there really nervous about taking this test during during the week, and uh, they had a young. It was a young student who was administering the exam, and uh, and I'm trying to do the evil eye, and she's like, "You need to relax your eyes," and I go, "I am relaxing my eyes." 
And she's like, no, you have to, like, you know, don't do that with your eyes. And I go, well, I'm not squinting. You know, I was like the opposite of squinting. I'm opening up as much as I can. She's like, no, you have to stop doing that. And I go, this is my, and I, I'm thinking, this is my life here, okay? I've, you know, I've, this is my fourth time. I've just 10 years. I went through MIT, all this stuff. And now this, this very conscientious student was trying to tell me not to do the evil eye to see what I was, you know, trying to relax my eyes. So, so she just wouldn't let me do it. And I'm like, I need to do it. She goes, stop. And, and she was doing a test again. And I'd be doing the evil eyes. like, stop, stop. And it was like screaming started to ensue. It's like, stop it, stop it. <laughs> and then the, the, the eye doctor comes in and says, what is going on here? Because a student is helping out for the day, apparently. And she says, he's not relaxing his eye. I go, I am. She goes, you're not. I go, I am. So he's like, Mike, just come back. Come back tomorrow. You know, take get a good night's rest, and I'll administer your test. And you know, the day after tomorrow or something like that, whenever my schedule. So anyway, so I come. But this is my last chance at this land out sea test. And uh, the, the 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 optometrist is there. He's no longer the student, and and he gi gives a test. And, he, and so again, he just lets the program run. And I'm doing my best with this little video game. And you had to get like 80 percent of them right or something like that to pass. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what I did. I did my best, and it took a couple minutes to do this exam. And he's looking at the results, and uh, and I go, "How did I do? How did I do, Bob?" And he, he looks at me. He goes, "Mike, you passed. You pa I go, He goes, "No kidding. Look at the results. You passed this thing." And I go, "Really?" And I looked at him. He looked a little looked a little scared. And I go, "What's what, what's the matter, Bob?" And he goes, "The look in your eye. I'm afraid you're going to kiss me." And that's what he was afraid of. He thought <laughs> that was. But, but that's were but that, that whole thing with that medical thing that we were going through was you just didn't yeah. want to get DQ'd. You didn't want anything, it's whatever different. they were looking yeah. at. So yeah. I don't know if triplets would have, twins would have DQ'd you, but luckily <laughs> it didn't happen. Yeah.